Okay, there we go. Arna slots wrap and reds. Three. Bournemouth, nil. That's what it's meant to be like in Anfield. There's certainly much more like that. Um, after the absolutely shambolic performance against Forest and the early goal considering it takes to Milan, obviously fears ran high that you know maybe we weren't all that, but then no, Milan ultimately didn't lay a glove on us. Comfortable win there and a very, very comfortable win in the end here today. Bournemouth probably a little bit too much threat in the first half. It's weird that, you know, there's Obviously, we get the goal disallowed for offside, fair enough. There's a couple of hairy moments there where we could be a goal down before Luis Diaz just becomes what he is, which is what he's been this season, which is sensational. Again, um, a fully dominant. Uh, because I'd have been raging. I'd rather have won 3-0 than 4-1. Well, um, yeah, right, I'm going to head outside before I obviously get copyright struck by, uh, by a bit of, uh, you know, uh, jumping around. Anyway, yeah, um, Lewis Diaz, just absolutely sensational. Get him closer to the goal, and he scores more goals. Weird. Um, but in addition to that, actually, you know, I could sing the praise of all kinds of players. Kevin Kelleher just dropped in, didn't even bat an eyelid. I know it was rumoured earlier on in the day, um, but the team came out and I just didn't, I honestly just didn't give it a second thought. Kelleher is more than good enough to be Liverpool's first choice goalkeeper. He's just unfortunate that Allison's the, the best in the world. Now, he's had injury problems, he will continue to have injury problems, I would imagine, um, but it might just be one of those moments where the stars never quite aligned for him to be Liverpool's number one. Um, which would be a shame, um, but obviously that's pressure on Mamadashvili to fulfil that role maybe in a couple of years' time. Anyway, uh, I thought he was great today. He had one little wobble in the first half, but actually the way he then continued made some huge saves. Liverpool keep a clean sheet because of Kevin Kelleher's performance, so yeah, spot on from him. Um, I thought Alex McAllister was really good as well. Interesting to see him move into more of a 10-like position when Curtis Jones came on. Um, I'd like to see him do more of that. It's a very different interpretation of it, what Sabozla is going to do, but actually maybe a bit more creative on the ball. Um, in the midfield in general, let's talk Ryan Gravenberg. Ran the show again. Like, like everything that Fabinho can do, he, uh, prime Fabinho, he seems to be able to do. Plus he's got like that Thiago shimmy where he can just free himself in the middle of the park and carry the ball up the pitch, rangy, leggy, go-go gadget legs, tackling, winning it back, creating things, being on the front foot, both defensively and offensively. Um, I thought Gravenberg was a sensation again, a marvel in midfield for us. Um, but Curtis was really good coming off. I can see how he would fit really well alongside Gravenberg. He had two very press-resistant midfielders there. Take the ball under pressure, roll the man, get themselves out of danger. I'd like to see a little bit more of that in the coming weeks, uh, if, if at all possible. Good on Darwin Nunes, though, ultimately, because here's one I was saying on the podcast last week. It's a tough one for him. He's the one all of a sudden, out of everyone who doesn't look, looks out of sorts. Like, how's he going to fit in? How's he going to get his game? Is he going to get his goal? And I thought he played really well. I thought he really, really did. And that's the thing about it. I'm not sure whether he'll keep Jotter out. 
but Joss has been playing functionally well, but hasn't been scoring. That's a great goal for Dallas, so that will do him no end of good. Um, and yeah, go up to see a little bit more Cody Gappo and Chiesa. That's it, Fede Chiesa. Um, looks, hey, Klo, looks every inch of a Liverpool player. Every inch of a Liverpool player. Early flashes, got a, a shot off from distance, got the crowd excited, ha- harassed and harried. Um, I don't think he's going to play centre forward for his loads, but you know, it's, it definitely showed the versatility. And again, the squad depth, Jota, who we all love, doesn't even get on the pitch in the end there. So yeah. Wonderful afternoons, football, and yeah, I'm being greedy, um, I guess, but it should have been five or six. There was an opportunity for that to be a statement win, to put our th- foot on the th- throats and get some goal difference up or whatever. Um, but all that means to me is there's room for improvement because it's a massive improvement on Forest. Um, and yeah, if there's still loads more room to go, then that stands to reason that that's a very, very good thing indeed. Yes, right, I'm going to try and not get run over on this road. Um, hey, okay. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, anyway, the, uh, we've got a code, check a free month out of redmenplus.com, head to redmenplus.com, use the code LFC, dead simple LFC, you know, the you know Liverpool Football Club, LFC, uh, free, a whole free month, so much football, two games a week coming up, get an entirely free month of it, videos, podcasts, and access to all the back catalogue, um, why wouldn't you, just try it try it it's nothing it costs you nothing if it's crap sack it off but it's not it's boss and it'll take a wonderful place in your life I believe so um, and I hope you do too anyway nice one drop a like uh, and check out the vlog on Mates TV coming later this afternoon Ta-da.